First yeah. of all, this. Okay, what's wrong with that? It's not organic. Then, what, 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 okay. what oh. is going on? I have guests here. It's not just about me. This and this and this. What? Now I can't even eat your fruit here because I'm not going to trust it. Are you joking? I dissect your closet. She dissects your fridge. It's all organic. Kim, don't sit like that. Your boobs are so huge. Yeah, but they're so awesome. Well, anyway, I called court the other day because I got woken up because you know how, like, I'm kind of, like, psychic-ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, psychic. Psychic-ish. The other day when I was sleeping, something woke me up. It whispered in my ear. It was going, glow, glow. When I heard it, it was a familiar voice to me. It was male. Was it young or old? It was just comfortable. Like, I wasn't scared. I am very spiritual. I like that I have senses. I'm in tune with certain things. And I would like to learn about these feelings or spirits. But when I woke up, I kept my eyes shut because I was a little scared. And then, like, nothing was there. <laughs> this is what you eat? I'm not allowed to have peanut butter and celery. What's wrong with that? OK. Well, let me see what's in this. Contains 2% molasses, fully hydrogenate, hydrogen, huh? God, I know this word, I can't say it. Hydrogenated. Yes! <laughs> Hi, Hi, how are how you? Are you? Nice to meet Great you. Great to meet you. I'm Tyler. Chloe, oh. thank you for coming. Oh my gosh, thank you. This is beautiful. Yeah, thank you. I have been really eager to meet with Tyler, who is a medium. He's still young. He's 19, I think. <laughs> These are my sisters. Hi. Oh, oh my gosh. Great to meet you. Hi. Hi. Too. Great to meet nice you. To meet I you. actually know your cousin, Kara. Oh, he works with my cousin all the time. So I feel like there's a family connection and almost it's like cosmic that I'm supposed to be meeting with him. The general idea of how I do what I do is that I actually work as a clairvoyant. So I see information. Mm -hmm. um, as opposed to audibly hearing it, I get visuals. Did you always know that you had like a gift? When I was 10 years old, my grandmother was ill with terminal cancer. And as she was getting really ill, I woke up one night and knew she was going to pass. And we got the call two minutes later that my grandmother had passed. Oh my god, wow. And so that's kind of a, was a, a pretty dramatic moment. But I believe we all have an intuition, mm -hmm. but to varying extents. She always right. tells me she's psychic. Well, I don't think I like could read her palm, but I have a very great intuition. Sure. And I feel energies and right. spirits really well. And I'm not saying, like, oh my god, there's a ghost in the corner. Right, right, right. But I know when I feel something, and I like pay that respect. I think intuition is almost like a compass that we have inside of us. And if we go with it, it can really drastically improve our life. So. And if I haven't like how you see things or whatever, if I, that hasn't happened to me mm -hmm. yet, like would that never happen to me? It's one of those things that you don't have to embrace. But if you chose to embrace it and mm -hmm. chose to kind of connect and not be afraid of it, that's the right. biggest thing. Fear is the quickest way to shut something down. You definitely do have that really keen intuition. Does she? I would say both of you out of you two, probably the strongest. For you two. I feel that about you. Yeah. I don't feel it about you. <laughs> <laughs> also interesting to note, this house has something in it. What do you mean? I don't know. It's kind of an odd feeling. Right when I walked in, it was like there was a feeling like there was something here. This is one of those weird things that's kind of coming through. I'm referencing, am I smelling Thai? I don't know what this would be. You know ties like people mm -hmm. wear? Mm -hmm. I'm pulling it out, but I'm holding it to my face. What if it's dad? My dad had hundreds of ties, and I always smell his stuff. Yeah, like, I, I have like a jacket and, and yeah. his shirts, and I haven't ever washed them, and right. I just always, like, yeah. smell them. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Yeah. Sometimes when people die, their spirit might be lingering around because they feel like there's unfinished business. And, you know, there's a lot of things that obviously I wish I did differently when my dad was dying. And I would avoid seeing my dad a lot because I would rather not see him like that. And I kind of wanted to act like it wasn't happening. But I believe our loved ones really are OK and that they do give us signs and that yeah. they are definitely aware of, of the big events that we go through on some level. I don't claim to know how it works. So. Right. But we all have an intuition. And it all comes through in lots of different That's ways. That's new for her because she used to think I was ridiculous. And then <laughs> no, when I didn't. Yeah, but that now when I start telling her things, she'll be like, oh, OK. And yeah. like she'll like mm -hmm. come over and entertain me. Yeah. And like this one's like, yeah, oh, OK. Whatever. <laughs> like right, she just kind of like, sure, whatever. <laughs>